All right, guys, more tips and tricks for this Tipman Boss sewing machine. Again, it's great sometimes, and other times this thing keeps you on your toes guessing all the time. So many things seem to affect the way this thing lays stitches. You'll get it good and working just fine, and then surprise, a change in the leather thickness, the leather density, uh, the thread types, uh, having different thread up top than on the bottom. All these things, and you know, how dirty the machine is, all these things can affect this machine uh, quite, uh, quite dramatically. So, check this out, another tip, okay? The other day, I was having an issue where thread, uh, the threads, it's this exact thread here, this uh, shiny blue thread, uh, top and bottom, same size, same consistency, uh, was getting stitches laying on top no matter what I did. All the tension was out of the primary tensioner, uh, really kind of tweaking the tension here. You know, I had play, re done a reset on the bobbin tension, making sure that I was just in that right zone. Nothing was making these stitches go uh, the direction that they needed to go. So, short of calling an exorcist, a shaman, I decided, okay, back to YouTube to see what other information other leather makers uh, have found. Maybe there's a tip out there that I haven't heard before and might work. Lo and behold, I came across a tip that dealt with this primary tensioner, uh, a little trick. Let me uh, change the camera angle and we'll get a little bit more specific right now. Okay guys, so this tip deals with this primary tensioner. Again, I had verified correct tension in the bobbin. I had uh, verified threads matching top and bottom, uh, an appropriate size, needle position was good. All, by all means, everything should have been working very well. However, <clears throat> was getting threads laying on top regardless of, of where I had adjusted tension. And I was getting desperate to the point where I had just, I had just about you know, taken this tension you know, nut completely off. Went to YouTube found a gentleman who had uh, recommended removing this nut completely, or taking this whole assembly out and getting to these two washers that sandwich this wheel and giving them an entire mirror polish using metal uh, compound, metal polishing compound, and really just having at it, making those two washers a mirror polish. Now, I did not do that. But looking at what he was doing, his, uh, his concept, his principle was that over time, dirt and things get into the uh, washers, they get into that wheel and can cause problems. And uh, so I took mine apart, found that it was actually looking very clean and uh, kind of thought about putting a mirror polish on those washers like uh, had worked really well for him. But I thought, ah, first I'm going to do the easiest kind of concept addressing what he was suggesting as the issue. And I just took this nut, I took, uh, I left this alone and I undid my thread. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but I just, all I did was figuring if this is cause, if the wheel itself is causing too much resistance, such that you can't even have all the tension out and the thread around it without it pulling the thread to the top surface of the project, then what I would do before getting out some metal polishing compound and going crazy was just take this thread and more or less bypass that wheel altogether and just, uh, yep, let that thread kind of just ride across the surface of that wheel and more or less uh, skip it. So my thread is not loaded around the wheel. It's just going past it and voila. Suddenly, I was getting perfectly uh, positioned stitching. So, please take that. Maybe that will work for you. And uh, just keep that in my back pocket. I already know, like, okay, maybe next time I switch to a thicker leather or a different leather density, maybe I'm going to have to go back and put that back around the wheel. Like, this machine keeps you guessing nonstop. Part of the Tipman Boss uh, adventure, I suppose. So, um, if you are having a problem where you've let, you, you have correct tensions everywhere, your needle is correct, your threads are matching, and uh, you're still just having issues with threads laying on top of your project, and you've taken all the tension out of this wheel completely, you've got this wheel set at the factory recommended kind of tension, then that's what I recommend now. Give that a shot. 
just bypass that wheel altogether and see if that does not help you out. It sure did uh, for me on that particular project. All right, thanks.